So at the beginning of 2022, I was in college. I had just enough money to scrape by. I was in the throes of my seasonal depression, honestly. And at the end of 2022, I am traveling full time in my RV that I own. I have my dream job as a video editor and I'm probably the happiest that I've ever been. I'm gonna share with you my story on how I changed my life in a year, but more importantly, how you can too. Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Kylie. I'm so, so happy that you are here today. I felt really compelled to make this video because I truly changed so much of my life in the last 12 months. And I wanted to share the knowledge that I gained over the last year and how you can change your life as well. I believe there's a trick to changing your life and it is way easier than you think. So I'm gonna share with you that as well as some other tips I have for creating your dream life in under a year. So really quick, a little bit of backstory for those who don't know much about me. Um, please don't skip this part if, even if you know and have been following my videos, this is just gonna be a really brief overview of who I am um, as a person before we move forward so that you can kind of see if you identify with me or not. So I did four years of college. I was a film major the entirety of those four years. So I knew that I wanted to do something in film since way before college actually. I think since I was 12, I knew that that was my passion. And I know that a lot of people don't resonate with that. They still don't know what they wanna do with their lives. So that's something I'm very fortunate on is to know exactly what I wanted. But when I was in college, I learned that I wanted more in life than a nine to five. For a long time, I actually thought that a nine to five sitting in an office staring at a computer was my dream. That's what I wanted to do. It took me those four years to really realize that that is not something I wanted for my life. I wanted so much more. I will say that college really wasn't for me. I wasn't a college gal. I was definitely a high school gal. I really enjoyed high school. Those are some of the fondest years that I look back on in my life. I really enjoyed high school, especially junior, well, not junior, junior sucked, <laughs> but especially senior year. It was, it was a really great time. I had an amazing friend group and I was sad to leave them. I did not make friends in college like I did when I was in high school. It was much harder for me. I felt more isolated just as a general feeling. Um, I was really ready to be done by the end of those four years. I was so, so done with college. But I learned so much about myself in that time. So, so much about myself, like way more than I ever did in high school. I learned a ton in college and I grew a lot, which I'm very grateful for. But I became obsessed with creating a life that I loved living and I would do that no matter what. And I still feel this way. That's kind of when it developed and I still am so obsessed with creating a life for myself that I love. I've always been a very realistic person and that has just come natural in me. I think very natural or I think very realistic about things. Even though I do think realistically, that didn't hinder my ability to dream big about things. I always had big dreams for myself. The thinking realistically part came as to how those dreams would become my reality. What am I actually going to have to do to make these dreams my day-to-day -day life? So now I'm gonna share the three main steps that I took to creating my dream life. This was not a linear path, okay? I need you to know that. It was not point A to B. It was A and then B and then, oh, look over here and then down and then oh wait what if I wanted to do this but then oh, I'm going back to this and then um so it's probably like an A to Z <laughs> but this is just general tips on how to change your life in under a year so the first step that I took was planning I'm a huge planner love planning things if there's anything you should know about me I need to have a plan for everything in my life. For me, planning is the most important step 
um, and it's also the step that probably takes the longest. For some people, planning is gonna be really hard because it really forces you to get to know yourself. You have to take a huge step back and look at your life as a whole, which your life is probably pretty big, um, and really narrow down what you don't like, what you do like, what you wanna change, what is okay if it stays the same, and realizing the behaviors in yourself that put you where you are now and the behaviors that need to change for you to get to where you want to be. So I probably spent months picturing what I wanted my dream life to be and this can be as long or short of a process as you want but I like I said I'm a huge planner and I think through everything first. Um, I don't overthink on things, but I definitely am like, okay, well, what if this happens? Okay, well, I don't need to worry about that, but what if this happens? And I am like constantly thinking about that stuff. So that's probably why it took so long with the planning, but it all depends on how you feel about things and how well you know yourself. I want you to do this activity. If you really are trying to change your life, get your notepad out, okay? Take notes on this. I want you to sit down somewhere where you feel is like a safe space. Maybe it's a bedroom. For me, my entire RV is my safe space. Sit down somewhere, get out a notebook, light your favorite candle, maybe light some incense, whatever you do to create a relaxing environment for yourself. Once you do that, you need to close your eyes and physically picture yourself being where you want to be. So when I close my eyes right now and I think about my dream life, I think about being near the beach. That's what popped into my head. I'm picturing myself sitting on the beach on a blanket, staring out into the ocean and, and it's sunset and it's like the prettiest sunset I've ever seen. Okay, that is what popped into my head right then. Um, I am in Florida, so I've already <laughs> started on living this dream. Picture yourself, how you want your life to look. Um, imagine the emotions that you feel. Like I mentioned, when I'm sitting on the beach, I feel relaxed, I feel happy, I feel at peace, I feel grateful for everything around me, and that's how I wanna feel every day. Think about the emotions that you're feeling on an everyday basis, what your routine is, how you feel when you're doing these things. Like get so specific about what your dream life looks like and how you feel living it. So once you've really thought through what you want your dream life to look like and where you're at right now and where you wanna be, the second step to creating your dream life is working towards it. Work towards that dream, girl, <laughs> all right? This part is like half discipline half believing in yourself. <laughs> you need to do everything in your power to work towards the lifestyle that you want. You need to save up money. You need to surround yourself with people who support you. For example, me, my family are a huge support system for me, my parents in specific. I always go to them for anything that I need to think about. Um, I bounce ideas off them all the time. I'm always including my parents in my plans because I know that my parents will always be there for me no matter what happens. So you need to surround yourself with people who support your dreams because while you're working towards something, you need to keep yourself motivated. Motivation is a very intrinsic feeling, but you also need to have extrinsic motivation. People outside of you who will keep you towards your goals and say to you, I want that for you, I'm here for you, how can I help? You need people that will do that. Yes, you can do it on your own, but it is so much easier if you have people behind you supporting you. So while you're working towards your goals, um, it also gives you the time to make sure that these goals are actually something that you want. There was a time where I thought that I wanted to live in a van, and then I realized that that is not the best decision for me. RV life made so much more sense, and so your goals will change. You just need to change with them. There's no way that you can possibly know what life will throw at you in an entire year. Okay, that is a long time for things to happen. So there's no way you can plan ahead for everything. So if your goals change, that is totally, totally fine. Change with your goals, be flexible with them, 
And do not stress about something that didn't come to fruition like you wanted it to. It just wasn't meant to be. And everything happens for a reason. So the path that you are on will take you to where you need to be. You just need to believe that you are on the right path at all times and that there's no wrong decisions in the universe. There's just decisions. So be disciplined with yourself, but also give yourself grace. Work towards those goals. Work as hard as you can. I saved up as much money as I could uh, in the last five months when I was in college and I took on extra jobs. And in June, I was actually working three jobs simultaneously so that A, I could get experience in my field, but also save up money because I knew I needed to buy an RV and do the renovations for it. The third and final step is take action. Take actions on these goals, these little goals that you have set towards your dream life. This might be the slowest part depending on what you're trying to do. So for example, if the change that you wanna make in your life is to buy a different house or buy your dream house even, you could open a separate bank account that is just a house fund. If a change that you wanna make is being more frugal in your life, you could start visiting or researching different thrift stores that are in your area um, and buying groceries to cook at home. Just doing little things in your everyday routine um, and starting to make them habits is how you're gonna become the person that you wanna be. There are so many little things you can do along the way to help you achieve your goals. I always respond to all of my comments, so if you ask me a question about maybe a specific goal that you have or um, any of these steps that I mentioned, I will answer you, so leave a comment down below. But to wrap up this video, I mentioned in the beginning that there was a trick that I learned to changing your life. The trick to changing your life is knowing that you can. Okay, that sounds so cliche and so lazy, like, okay, Kylie, that isn't really a tip that I really care about. Yes, it is, okay? <laughs> there are so, so many people out there, maybe you're one of these people who are stuck in their lives. They're not happy with where they live or where they work or who their friends are or anything else about their life and they just will constantly sit there and complain and be like, I hate this job, I don't want this job anymore, or I hate where I live, I hate being in the winter, why don't I move down south? And they'll say that for months and that turns into them saying it for years and then sooner or later it's 10 years down the line and they're still working at that job that they hate or they're still living in a state that doesn't bring them joy. Next thing they know, their life has gone by and nothing changed. Once you understand and completely wholeheartedly believe that you are capable of doing literally anything that you want to do, your life becomes so much easier. And that really is rooted in people having a scarcity mindset. For example, if I was still in college, and I sat there and I thought to myself, I could never move to Florida. I won't be able to make friends. I'll be so lonely. I won't have anyone with me. I wouldn't do it because I'm talking myself out of it. Yes, I miss my friends. This is just my example, okay? Yes, I miss my friends, but I'm so happy here. I am so, so happy in Florida and I wouldn't change having moved here for the world. There are little bumps. There are scary things and I didn't let that stop me. And you can't let that stop you. I'm a huge, huge believer that your mindset makes up your life. What you think about yourself and other people and what you think about the things around you matters so much. And once you shift into the mindset of which I have everything that's coming to me, everything happens for a reason, I deserve everything that I'm getting and more and I will reach my goals then you will because you believe that you can and you believe that you will I can't make it any more simple if you think that you can and you know that you can you will that's all it is that's what it comes down to all right my mama just called me she said that dinner is ready which is my cue to end this video <laughs>
<laughs> I really hope you got something from this. I'm so passionate about your mindset and setting goals and changing your life because I am firsthand proof that it works and it can happen. And I believe that anybody can change their life if they want to. So make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe down below if you got to the end, and check out this playlist of videos because if you enjoyed this one, then I think you'll enjoy these as well. That's it for today and I will see you in my next one. Love you, bye.